Here's how to import a complex multi-track MIDI file into VCV Rack using either Entry and Timeline or the free Entry and Player. The first thing you're going to have to do is wire up your sequencer to your instruments, which I've already done here. We have drums, courtesy of Entry and Acoustic Drums, brass thanks to Squinky's basic VCO, and strings from Squinky Source. So, let's import a MIDI track into the timeline. I click to create a clip, and I choose MIDI Melody Clip. Here, I can browse for my MIDI file, which I've already done, and I can see which melody tracks are available. This piece has lots of brass instrument tracks and lots of string instrument tracks. I'm going to check several of these at once to merge all the brass instruments into one sequencer track. It's also going to import the channel volume and expression information. You can import that sort of thing separately into a CV track if you like, but it's simpler just to import it directly into the notes. I'm now going to import all the string instruments into the second sequencer track. So, although I've imported something like 10 MIDI tracks into my song, I only need two oscillators to play all of these separate MIDI tracks. Now let's import the drums. I ask for a MIDI drum clip, and I can list just the drum tracks to make life simple. However, some MIDI files don't identify their drum tracks as drum tracks, which is why you can list the other tracks as well. There's a track here for timpanis. Again, I'm going to merge these separate MIDI tracks into one sequencer track. Finally, this piece has a tempo track, which we're going to import into a CV track in the sequencer. I create a CV clip, and then I can import the tempo track into it like this. You can see I've wired the tempo track into my clock here. So, let's play that and see what we've got. Listen out for the tempo changes in the timpani sections and the variations in volume across the chords, especially the final chord. OK, there are a couple of other things worth mentioning. A song in Entry and Timeline has only 10 tracks, so what if I want to have more than 10? That's no problem. I can add another timeline, set up my next 10 tracks in it, and tell it to follow the playhead of the first one. So now they remain in sync. These two are effectively a single 20 track sequencer. Another apparent limit is that a drum track has only 10 channels. Obviously I can have multiple drum tracks, but what about importing MIDI? Well, when you import a MIDI drum track, if it uses more than 10 instruments, you can import the higher instruments via this drop-down. So here, you'd import the first 10 instruments into one track, and the other four into a second track. So, that's how you can use Entry in Sequences, or Entry in Free, to import MIDI files into Rack. If you use Entry in Free, then you can't edit the sequences that you import, whereas Entry in Sequences includes lots of powerful editing and recording features. As well as the Timeline module, it also includes dedicated piano roll, drum sequencer and CV sequencer modules. Have a look at the YouTube description for this video for links to more information about the Entry in Sequences plugin. And thanks for watching.